Hello YouTube, this is Thompson Airway 737 bringing you another 1400 scale model airport update. Uh, so this is the update, uh, which is probably the biggest update we've done in terms of featuring uh, most models uh, in, in one single video. And this particular update is based on the 10th of September 2011. Um, the actual sequence of movements would be actually separate. Uh, so in terms of the photos I'll be taking, they will be separate compared to like in the video they're all together. Um, some of the movements anyway, some of that kind of in various parts of the day. Um, but again, for the purpose of the video, I'm kind of including them all for you guys in one shot. Um, but as always, you know, you'll probably see the sequence of how things panned out and get a gist of things, um, of what aircraft are in for whatever reason, um, as we go through the update anyway. So we'll start off uh, as we always do on this far side. Um, we will start off with these two British Airways uh, Embraer aircraft. Uh, so these are actually operating for, well, on a regular surf, uh, service. These are actually being chartered in. Um, now on this day in real life at Doncaster, we did have both a British Airways E190 or BA City Flyer, whichever you want to call it, um, E170 and E190. Um, so on the right we have the E190 which is registration GLCYO, uh, this is positioned in as CFE113 and we'll head out, uh, I'm not entirely sure where the destinations were, but this is heading out as CFE24 November um, and then next out we have the E170 registration GLCYG, this position positioned in as CFE115 and we'll be heading out at CFE for 3 November. So I imagine both obviously we're going out at the same uh, destination. Uh, of course, a bit unusual to have. Uh, not unusual to have British Airways Embraer's chartered because I think uh, we've had a few of them over the years, uh, to be honest. But yeah, to have them sort of both together is a bit unusual. Uh, believe it or not, on this very day, we actually had two divers uh, come in as well. And one of which was an early morning, um, uh, but again, for the purpose of this update, they're all together. Uh, we had this Jet 2 737 uh registration GCLS. Uh, flight number EXS324, which is a diver from Leeds, um, due to bad weather, uh, I believe. And later in the morning, uh, would have departed as G. Uh, Sorry, EXS 023P, uh, obviously meaning positioner, uh, back to Leeds. And then next start, we had a, <laughs> actually another diver, EasyJet A319 GEZAN. And this was actually a medical emergency from uh, Sophia, bound for Manchester, um, operating as EZY1931. And then departed the next day on the 11th as EZY8006. Um, then in the foreground, pushing back. Uh, as you can see there, we have this Ryanair 737800 registration EIDWH with the uh, Communita Valenciana um, titles there. Uh, registrate at... Uh, the flight number Ryanair 4018 and 4019 uh, bound for Alicante. And then blasting down the runway, we have one of the very regular sites in this Thompson Fly. Uh, 737800 registration GCDZI uh, operating as Tom3638 um, to Parma, Mallorca will return as 3639. And then if we pan across uh, to the cargo apron, uh, we have this very authentic looking aircraft. Um, we have this Etihad Crystal Cargo uh, Boeing 777-200F registration A6DDA. Uh, this arrived from Shanghai and we'll be doing an outbound leg to Frankfurt. Um, not really sure you can see it from here, but just to the front there. Uh, oh, you probably see it actually. It does say Crystal Cargo to the front of Fuse Lodge. Uh, they had this scheme uh, sort of early days. 
on these aircraft before they changed the full titles to Etihad Cargo, and I think I think after that they got rid of the Crystal Cargo uh, titles as well. Uh, but still, um, a really really interesting scheme from Etihad. Um, it's kind of like a golden kind of texture, which you can imagine, you know, in that kind of uh, part of the world, uh, fits quite well. And yeah, I really like it. Uh, I do have the other version as well by Phoenix, the Etihad Cargo. Not got any of the newer livery Etihad Cargo 777s because I'm not a great fan of livery, if I'm honest. But eventually, yeah, I probably will consider getting them eventually um, if they are still flying. Uh, and then panning across, we have this, uh, which I believe I've featured before. I'm not sure if I've just featured it in photos. I might have featured it. I don't know if I featured it. I know I featured it on the Spanish Med Airport as well that I did at some point. Uh, but this is TNT Airways, um, operated by Pan Air Linear Series, um, BAE 146-200QT. Uh, arrived from Katowice and we'll be heading back out to Liège eventually. Um, I believe this was to do with, um, well actually in real life would have been to do with St. Ledger. Uh, horses, I believe, um, but yeah, gives you a general idea, perspective. So um, we'll just kind of zoom out and give you guys a bit of perspective of the overall apron there, cargo apron. Again, on two aircraft, obviously all the uh, sort of uh, you know pallet things there, getting ready for to to unload this Etihad triple seven. Now we pan across once again. Uh, for the main apron there, with uh, quite an array of colours, a bit of a range of different aircraft as well. Um, but yeah, uh, gives you an idea for the update itself. Uh, by all means, any questions, uh, you know, please leave them if you have any. And um, yeah, uh, the next update, I'm not sure, probably not as busy as this, not as uh, authentic, but um, again, I'm not sure when that will be. Uh, of course, stay tuned for that, and uh, I'm sure it'll be uploaded within maybe the next week or so. So until then, I'll see you next time.